I'm Ineke Marshall and I'm from Northeastern University in Boston. Uh, my takeaway after listening to the president's address is that he is talking about an incredibly important and complex issue. Uh, the field of criminology is heading in the direction of interdisciplinarity, more uh, focus on global issues and hopefully more focus on social justice. So my, my name is Jack Green. I'm a professor emeritus at Northeastern University, the School of Criminology and Criminal Justice in Boston. I think the most pressing uh, need for research in criminology and criminal justice is a very thorough follow-up on the President's Commission, which was published 50 years ago, but which progress has been very slow in coming in lots of areas. So we have a tendency to want to move on to the next topic, but we haven't finished with the last topic. Okay, I'm Steve Messner, University at Albany, State University of New York. Uh, the sessions that have been most interesting to me, there have been a number. I thought the um, uh, Sutherland Address by Rick Rosenfeld was quite interesting. The Presidential Address that was just given now was also quite interesting. And I must say the panels that I attended, uh, some with my uh, co-authors presenting were also excellent panels. All right, my name is uh, Kim Müller from Aalborg University in Denmark. Where do I see the field of criminology heading in the future? Towards uh, more use of uh, big data. Okay. okay. I'm uh, Jeff Ulmer from Penn State University. Uh, the takeaways that I got from the presidential address were the challenges of using big data in a time of uh, battles over facts and um, contested you know takes on reality in the political realm and how to claim reclaim our our data and facts in all the social sciences my name is Arvind Varma and I'm at Indiana University of Bloomington Department of Criminal Justice what is the most pressing need for research in criminology I think largely has to do with uh, police action against uh, uh, minorities in particular in this country. So the uh, <clears throat> police shootings uh, and uh, Black Lives Movement and all the dispute that is arising is something that I believe should be handled at a priority right now. Hi, my name is Alexis Bell. I'm a recent graduate from Utica College. So where, where do I see the field of criminology heading in the future? For me, I'm hopeful that we can bridge the gap between academia and practitioner. Um, and I've seen a lot of um, collaboration at this conference. Hi, I'm Natasha Moses, and I'm a second year criminal justice doctoral student at the University of Cincinnati. So the session that's been the most important to me thus far uh, was the uh, Division of Developmental and Life Course Criminology. Um, they had um, their annual meeting, but we also got to see a presentation from Dr. Sampson and Dr. Laub, who are famous, um, especially in life course criminology, which is in my area. So it was wonderful to hear about their um, upcoming a publication that they're working on and some of the insight that they, ha they had for life course criminologists. I'm Kevin Early. I'm at the University of Michigan Dearborn. And I think President Lynch did a superlative job telling us how far we've come as a discipline and how far we need to go in terms of the research and um, all of our objectives in terms of taking ownership of the data and, and uh, having access to the data that we need to, to have access to to produce the research that we have. I'm Greg Newbold from the uh, University of Canterbury in New Zealand. Um, the most pressing research need in criminology, I think we need more, I'm a convict criminologist, I'm an ex-inmate, and I think we need more people who've been in prison, who've got the real life experience of prison and, and crime doing research in that field, or else people doing more ethnographic type research, such as a student of mine who's doing research on gangs and has actually lived in the gangs with the gangs for about 12 years while he was doing his PhD. I think that is the kind of qualitative research that we need more of. Uh, my name is Emil Pivaczewski. I'm coming from uh, Poland. Uh, I'm Dean of Law Faculty at the University of uh, Bialystok, Poland. 
I attending uh, these conferences regularly since uh, 1997. So I'm very familiar with organization and uh, the topics uh, of these conferences. Uh, there are many sessions, it is difficult to choose uh, the session I'm interested in. But for me the most interesting session are uh, sessions regarding uh, organized crime, corruption, internal security, because it's uh, my topic of research. Ernesto Savone, Università Cattolica in Milan and Transcrime Research Center. What takeaways do have after listening to the President's address? Well, uh, the President's address was about big data. I was really impressed by the capability of Jim Lynch to deal with this kind of topic and uh, putting this topic in the frame of the future of criminology. We have more data. We don't have the control of the people producing this data, but we need to work on this data for the future. Uh, how to balance uh, the privacy with security and how to exploit and use much better this data for future analysis? This is the question. And I went out from the room uh, impressed by this speech of Jim Lynch saying that probably this is going to be the future for us. That's very good. Uh, my name is Carter Hay from Florida State University and uh, the question is what is the, what are the sessions that I most enjoyed going to? And uh, I would say the session that I probably most enjoyed was a session on life course and desistance. It's uh, an area where I do a decent amount of work and I got to see one of my PhD students present a really good paper. It's essentially a panel that was just looking at um, how something like um, marriage and cohabitation may have an effect on offending that varies according to whether someone is marrying someone of higher SES than lower SES. And so I'm like most people, I probably enjoy the panels the most when they connect to stuff that I'm working on at that time. Hi, I'm Christopher Contreras. I'm a PhD student in the Department of Criminology Law and Society at the University of California, Irvine. Where do you see the field of criminology heading in the future? I see the field of criminology heading towards the utilization of more spatially and temporally precise data that will enable researchers to address questions that address local problems that might speak to more national issues such as drug abuse, and poverty and crime. Uh, my name is Goras Meshka. I'm president of the European Society of Criminology. I regularly attend uh, ASC meetings and I was very impressed with the speech of the president of ASC tonight. And uh, I think that he has chosen a great topic and I'm a little bit afraid about the future because we will probably get lost in the big data. So that's all for now. My name is Emmanuel Onyozele, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Um, the question is, um, where do I see criminology, field of criminology heading in the future? Uh, for me, I see the field of criminology heading towards uh, convict criminology, dealing with issues of uh, reentry after people have served their own time. Uh, this is one area I feel that um, we have not been paying particular attention and as a result people who have offended in one way or the other and paid their dues to the society are not given a, a good opportunity on how to reintegrate into the society. So I think that criminology should start paying attention to these individuals who of course they have paid their price and should be allowed to live their full life, uh, live life to their fullest potential. Um, this is what I think uh, criminology should be moving towards in the next uh, century. Hello, my name is Cassandra Quito from LaGuardia Community College. Hi, my name is Nina Ahmed from LaGuardia Community College. And the question we have here is, where do you see the fields of criminology heading in the future? Um, I'll go first? Yeah. All right. Um, well, based on this conference, I see it going for years and years and forever, and I see it going to a place where people really learn about everything that's going on and just 
not only the crime that affects everything that's going on, but there are just so many things here, international problems, race, religion, and white collar crime. I mean, it, it's just going to be integrated into everything one day and just a really good learning experience. Yeah, I really like this conference because it showed us different research methods and it gave us so much more information that we'll definitely be using in the future. And so that's really helpful. That's great. Okay. My name is Veronica James. I work at Shenandoah University. I see as the most pressing research needed in the field of criminology more research on policing issues, particularly things revolving around more corruption of police, but also the reasons for it and also sexual assault reporting and why victims don't report sexual assault to police officers. I think that's the most pressing thing we need to focus on. Hi, I'm Alessandra Early. I'm a current master's student in sociology at Northeastern University. I've chosen to answer the question, where do you see the field of criminology heading in the future? Hopefully towards interdisciplinary research. Um, I think a lot of people in the field are getting really excited about this concept. And in particular, thinking about the president's um, address, talking about the rise of big data, I think in order to kind of handle big data and our, acts, our limited access to uh, big data, I think inter interdisciplinary research is the future. Clear that big data are really a chance on the one hand, but a big issue on the other. And that criminal statistics data or criminal data we need uh, are not well organized and that we need concerted effort to to, to get better quality of data and get better access to data. And I think it was a very important speech and I liked it very much. Um, uh, shall I do another one? Um, if you like, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. What sessions have been the most interesting to you for all these meetings and why? Yes, I've been in a session called Pathways to Crime, if I could remember it correctly. And that has been a session testing situation action theory or the development of juveniles into crime. And it was one of the very most, of the most interesting sessions I, I had to, uh, in this meeting here. And I can really recommend to, uh, to take notice of this research that is being done by B.U. Wickström, was it, and Reinecke from Bielefeld and uh, from Cambridge. Very good.